with one particular horse called the Nugget. He embraces. The animal digs its sweaty brow into his cheek, and they stand in the dark for an hour, like a necking couple. And of all nonsensical things, I keep thinking of the horse, not the boy. The horse and what it may be trying to do. I keep seeing that huge head kissing him with his chain mouth, nudging through the metal, some desire absolutely irrelevant to filling its belly, propagating its own kind. Now, what desire could that be? Not to stay a horse any longer, not to remain reined up forever in those particular genetic strings? Is it possible? At times we can scarcely imagine that a horse may add its sufferings together, the non-stop jerks and jabs that are its daily life, and turn them into grief? And of what use is grief to a horse? <sighs> you see, I'm lost. What use, I should be asking, are questions like these to an overworked psychiatrist in a provincial hospital that worse than useless? They are, in fact, subversive.